and welcome back. Well, in this session, we're going to look at how we can create this effect within the rudder. Now, this technique can also be used for the elevator, the flaps, and the ailerons. Okay, so let's get cracking. And here we are back in Photoshop. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and then we'll go layer, new layer. And we'll say OK to that. Now let's grab our paint pot and go for white. I could of course just hit that there, but hey. And let's paint it. Now let's reduce the opacity down to something whereby we can see. That's fine. Now what I want to do is actually divide these sections up into seven, but there's going to be six horizontal lines. So I'm going to pop up to the top here, left click my mouse key, and bring down a line. I'm going to use that as a spacer, put one there. Now I know I have another line round about at the top just there. So I need to subdivide that now. So up, left click, pull another line down, somewhere about there. Now let me count one, two, three, four. So that's one in between, there and there, and one in between there. And I think I'm going to pull this one down just a little bit to there, and then it's one round about there. Now I want to go to the left, left click and I'm going to bring a line in to about there and now I can zoom in a little bit more and just put some lines above on that one. Let's have a look. Below that one Above on that one, below on that one, obviously you'll do yours um, how you want them to be done. Put that there, and let's grab another one, take that down to there. Now that that's done, I'm going to pop up and grab the lasso tool, well, the polygon lasso tool, and I'm going to start down at the bottom here. Now it should, because of these guidelines, it should more or less click into position, but left click, let go, bring that down. There it snapped to that line there, lovely. I want to bring that up to about there, bring that across, and because there's no line, it's free form from that point, so in fact I might follow that curvature around there. So bring that to roughly there following this curvature. Now it's snapped to the line there. Bring it across and finish it off. That's one done. Now I'm going to press shift and it's got the plus so we're adding to this now so click on there. Once it's pressed you can let go of the shift and follow it round. There we go. up to there, finish that off there, lovely, pressing shift again to that juncture there, lovely, it's snapped there and in there, I love it with these labour saving devices, up to there and on, well I'll continue with these and I'll catch you in a moment. Well, now that we have these selected, what I want to do is create some cutout sections here and down there. So I'm going to pop up to that marquee there and take the elliptical. Now, pressing Alt, what I'm going to do is subtract these sections here and I'm elongating that eclipse there. So it's 
minus that is taking it away and we're going to do the same with this section here so about there press alt and let's get that evened up about there and there we go now that that's done I'm going to pop up to my paint tool select that and then we want to select a color yep that color gray there and I'm going to say ok on that one pop up 100% change that to the gray and we're going to shade this in a nice light gray now this is going to be a bump map and when it comes to the shading you can actually go from black to white and black will be very very deep and white well there will be no depth at all so by having this nice pale shade of grey that's just going to recess the rudder just enough to make that impression and now that that's done I'm going to pop up to edit go copy edit and paste select the right level we'll go to that level there bring that down to where we can see it back up to this level past it 100% lovely now I need to select that tool let's move this over and now what I want to do is edit transform flip horizontally and now let's move that into position over there just there like that now we can come down to layer 1 turn the opacity up to 100 percent up to layers flatten image file save as and I'm going to save it as rudder bump there say replace and OK and OK to that and now we're back into 3ds Max and back in Max we're in our material editor we're in the maps section and we've got the rudder selected so in the map section I'm gonna left click on that button there double click for the bitmap and select the rudder UVW bump map there and there we go let's just zoom in a little bit and we'll do a quick render now you've got to admit that looks neat and tidy ok let's close that see what it's like if I will close that down as well now see what it's like on the other side yep looks just as good quick render you know that looks as though we spent a lot of time modeling that and yet we haven't now as I've said this technique can be applied to the elevator the flaps and the ailerons well I'd like to be able to say mindful of the time but as YouTube have now allowed me to make videos longer than 15 minutes I can't really do that anymore can I? Booger it. Mindful of the time we'll continue this in the next session and I'll catch you later.